His name is Ryuchi Omori. He teaches Aikido at a university and is an instructor of Shodokan. Sensei, I've seen the uh, footage of you throwing my students around, and I'm kind of uh, a little bit nervous about what's going to happen today. I've never tried uh, Aikido before, and uh, I'm very excited about everything. Maybe you could show me a few things about it today. Hold my right hand with your right hand tightly, and don't let go. How does Aikido make you feel? Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Let me explain it. You can create a multiplicity of force by concentrating that force into one focal point. I asked you to hold my right hand with your right hand. Now try to hold as tightly as you can. You can't? <laughs> Putting my opponent off balance, I can use the concentrated power to my advantage. Let's test it again. That is not even funny. Let's see what happens when you grab my hand. I have no feeling in my wrist right now. Creative use of force is Aikido's claim to fame. The techniques concentrate on manipulating the energy. Let me demonstrate one method of concentrating force. Push me back straight. I'll only resist with one finger. May I show you another one? Push me one more time, and I'll stand on one leg. Well, concentrating power into one point makes this possible. Now I'm going to push. Ready? You moved. That's because the power is dispersed. Concentrate your power on one focal point. Your techniques will have more impact if you can focus your energy properly. Aikido experts know how to manipulate the force given off by an attacker. Sometimes they redirect it. Other times they just blend in. Either way, they instantly gain control over the opponent's movement. If you pull too strong, it'll separate. Do it gently, like a wave. Omori-sensei, thank you very much for today. It was a wonderful experience to try Aikido for the first time in my life. And um, I'll tell you what, eh, I was really impressed. Uh, the first technique when you got me on, I was like, <laughs> I never, never saw that one coming. So it was just really interesting. Today I felt that everyone is really calm and relaxed and uh, kind of um, anticipating of the opponents attacking. Um, why is that? Hello. One Aikido technique involves breaking the opponent's balance and putting yourself in a position to throw. The flow is to make the attacker collapse. Then you can get into position and finish the job. Aikido techniques are mostly and mainly for self-defense only. Therefore, making the initial attack is considered morally wrong. The most important point is this, Aikido is not a martial art that aims to fight. The martial arts I have done until now has always been based on brute force. But Aikido is totally different. By using the opponent's strength, a mysterious force is created.
Aikido may appear mysterious, but it's backed by physiology and science. Nobuyuki Ito of Yokohama National University is the national coach for the Japan Association of Athletics Federation. His specialty is training theory and biomechanics in movement. We asked him to analyze Nicholas's newly acquired throwing technique. At first glance, the movements seem similar, but closer inspection reveals that the instructor adjusted his center of gravity as he executed the technique. Here's the comparative data of the two men in motion. First, the expert. He slides his center of balance backwards and slightly downwards at the very moment his arm is grabbed. That causes the opponent to lean forward and lose equilibrium. Then an upward lift, distributing the alignment of the opponent's upper and lower body, completes the throw. As for Nicholas, his center of balance hardly moves. He just stands there and from that fixed position tries to propel himself forward to basically muscle the opponent around. At first, I thought people were simply tossed dramatically around, but now I start to understand the dynamics of the technique and realize it all happens in a flash. Hello. Hello. My name is Nicholas Pitts. Nice to meet you. Another man who has some insight into why this all works is Hideo Takaoka. He's been involved with many different kinds of martial arts and is known as someone who can explain their mechanism. So, um, with my experience with Aikido this time, I understand that there was a lot of power going on there. And I thought it was, uh, through all the experience I've had with martial arts until now, that it was about power. But uh, maybe you could uh, explain to me a little bit more exactly where the strength of Aikido is. Sure. Let me show you two aspects of Aikido's secrets. Massive energy is required in the midst of combat. You might have the urge to overcome an opponent or pin him down. That's emotional energy. The other type is physical, like the force your body generates and speed and momentum. Aikido turns this energy to its advantage. When you take it in your hand and blend the emotional and physical aspects, well, then you've got it. First, let's see Omori's technique. The opponent tries to grab. He leads this movement well. It's really fast. That's why the opponent looks as if he's dashing. With such an enormous amount of energy, just a lift of an arm makes the opponent flip. Wow. Speed is the key. Instead of cringing from the opponent's aggression, he takes advantage of it rapidly. Next, your technique. You stay still when the opponent tries to grab, so the movement stops. You then try to take the lead, but at that point you have to pull with your own strength and the two of you can only move slowly. You're just walking. That's why you ended up pushing him down with your strength. That was all you had going for you. Of course. <laughs> it was my first time to try, but wow, when you see it like that, you really see the difference. <laughs> so it's very important to use the energy and mm. the, so, the moment mm. from the opponent so, when he's so, so, coming so, in, just so, move so, it with it. Yes, that's right. Mm. That's what's working for Omori, his last use of the hand. Push me down and see what it's like. We have very different levels of strength. I can't lift. We're just competing with power. But... Uh -huh. You know, I, I got pushed back now. Wow. Now try to push me like this. <laughs> now your power is in my control and I can make you collapse. So you could pull me to you, you could push me away, you could pull me to the side or whatever you want to do with me. That's right. I just want to hold on. <laughs>
reading the opponent's force and redirecting it, throws the other person off balance. This is a basic Aikido move. That's exactly what happened when Robert Kennedy's bodyguard fell to the floor. The bodyguard tried to push down from above. Force from below can never beat force from above. But by redirecting the force from above as soon as it's felt, the person below can turn the tables on the opponent. Once the energy gets stuck, the guy on top is likely to come tumbling down. So how much power is needed to redirect that kind of force? We studied the electrical impulses of muscle movement to get a measurement. We attached sensors to four muscles that are used when lifting things. Here are the results of the EMG when lifting by force. The biceps and pectoralis major react. That's typical when you try hard to lift things. Now let's repeat the experiment, this time with the Aikido expert redirecting the force. The biceps and pectoralis major show a reaction for a split second, but after that, hardly even a blip. The image makes clear that muscle strength has next to nothing to do with the Aikido approach. The secret of Aikido is manipulation of power. The experiment supports the theory. Let's demonstrate with this tool here. You held me down from above, right? Now push. You're directing your force this way, aren't you? If you push this way, it doesn't move, right? Okay. But with a turn like this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Well, that was... For me, that was really <laughs> easy to understand. So if you use just one stick and you push, well, you know, the force is generated and it's just one force going towards the other force, so nothing really uh, happens. But by breaking up the rhythm for this force and the force coming in, when, he, when I push strongly, my energy is generated in a different direction. And by being able to do that, um, he's actually able to use uh, my strength against myself. Well, that was really easy. That was funny. Yeah, wow. That was wonderful. Very interesting, yeah, very wasn't it? I would like to thank you very much for uh, teaching me about Aikido today. Thank you very much.